Preparations for our imminent journey to Mars are happening now, and the latest effort is the longest US-based isolation experiment. This is called the Hawaii Space Exploration Analog and Simulation. Margaret, this is pretty crazy. We have a crew of six people that are gonna go inside. They're already inside of a dome. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be inside of this dome for a whole year. It's only six of them. This dome, though, it's 36 feet in diameter and only 20 feet fall, tall, sorry. Um, this is crazy. It's on a barren northern slope of Mauna Loa in Hawaii. There's little vegetation, there's no animals, and they're trying to recreate what will be our first early colonization of Mars. Mm -hmm. And the social things that are going to happen with a crew of six living in such a confined uh, space. Oh my. I am telling you, this is crazy. <laughs> they have their small rooms, they have a space for a sleeping cot, a desk, and they're going to have limited internet access. If they want to come out of the dome, they have to wear a spacesuit. So they're really simulating the conditions, and they are serious about this exploration of Mars. Right. We're full on. So these six people, they're going to be the only ones that are going to be ready to go to Mars in the event that um, that's made possible in our lifetime. At least these six are ready because they'll have had the prep work done. Is I that mean, the this is not the first that? experiment. There's been other experiments. There was one in Russia that was around half a year long, that's exactly right. underwater. And they're trying to figure out the protocol because the first thing they're trying to resolve is internal conflict. This is, this, the, the social conflict that happen from these constrained environments in the long periods of time, a trip to Mars will take two or three years. So we need to know what happens in the relationships of these crews that are gonna do this three year long, mm -hmm. no fresh air, no fresh food, these conditions. Oh my, can you imagine? Well, you know, Hollywood is coming out with the new movie, The Martian, yes. and they're trying to get this into the American psyche that, that life on Mars might be possible. I know who wouldn't watch a movie with Matt Damon in it? So, you know, really appealing, dramatic, um, plot going on, but I think that they're trying to prepare us. Something, you know, they see this coming perhaps and they're trying to get us ready for the concept of, of colonizing Mars. I think, I think you're right. I think there's part of the uh, collective unconsciousness, our idea of exploring, but now we're going to actually be able to see it. Maybe on our late generation, we're right. able to see humans go into Mars. The crew members are, two of them is, is uh, Shayna Gifford. She describes the team as six people who want to change the world by making it possible for people to live it at will. And then architect Tristan Bassingwaith has a really amazing quote that for me is more telling than the whole experiment. He says, studying architectural methods for creating a more habitable environment and increasing our capability to live in the extreme environments of Earth or other worlds. Mm -hmm. So now, let me throw some conspiracy your way. Mm -hmm. What about also, yes, we're looking into moving into Mars, but what about if we are foreseeing that Earth is going to change so dramatically that we're going to have, have to, to live, live like Mars. that. Right. You know, like there's, no, there's not going to be a big difference in between the environment of Mars and the environment on Earth maybe in 200 years from now. What happens if you have one really strong personality that everybody wants to kill after like 30 days and you're in this tiny little space having to share air and a limited amount of, of you know, f your food and water. Yeah. You really have to be able to cohabitate I wonder and how that would work. I, I think that's, that's <laughs> one of the most important part of the experiment is to see how they're going to figure out, how they're going to hash it out, if they're going to survive themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, but another is highlight... Is cord you can pull? Mm -hmm. if, no, there's no. It's a, it's a commitment, 12 months, you're there. Here's the thing. The price tag is very cheap when it comes to space research. This is only going to be a million dollars, a little above a million dollars, that is being invested in this. Mm -hmm. They say this to try to emulate it on space and then fail the cost of it is it's unsurmountable mm -hmm. but here in hawaii we can recreate the experience and you know don't spend a right. big price tag so i think that they're being we're being clever about the resources they're being really really good of emulating the conditions that we're going to face but we want to know how you feel about the situation do you think we're going to make it to mars let us know in the comments and if you haven't please subscribe to the lib tv